if this is your first time coming to my channel make sure you like it you share it and you subscribe hi friends i'm in the parking space so i'm not driving but i'm so excited today i did an interview with sheila she shared with us her garden in chicago she shared her wins and losses and gave us some lessons learned so i think it's so important with gardening with friends that we have a conversation about the things that sometimes don't go as well as we want them to so i hope you really enjoy this interview thank you so much to sheila and her girls who shared with me what they've learned about gardening and hopefully it's some things that you too can learn all right enjoy the interview okay guys welcome back to my channel of course i have started the new segment gardening with friends and i'm here with sheila and sheila's gonna tell us about her garden and just talk to me about you know how long she's been gardening what made you get into gardening i guess i should say well um i have two girls uh -huh. and i really wanted to show them where food comes from and how it begins mm -hmm. so it started off just to teach my girls about it mm -hmm. and then it has flourished into this is my thing right 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 this is my thing your thing yes. so what was the first thing you successfully grew um the first thing i successfully grew oh gosh it was probably the strawberries 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 they came out well okay in my first season okay so we kind of did a tour of your garden and one of the things i talk about on my channel and all the time is just the the idea that garden is a learning process <laughs> yes yes even as i was so we started off the season with going to get more dirt mm -hmm. and picking out our plants and what mm -hmm. we wanted and just looking at where we wanted them at mm -hmm. and as we're planting no, no as we're putting the dirt in the containers i'm like I'm gonna do this so much for the next year. Right. I knew at the beginning, I knew in May mm -hmm. that in 2021 it was gonna be better. So even as I was planning this year, I already saw the mistakes that I was making and things that I knew I would do better in 2021. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right, but you still but you're still like encouraged to do it. And that's the thing that I want people to get is that I say it all the time, but for some reason, I think people, they don't want to plant because they're afraid it's gonna die. Right. Which, I don't want to say it's inevitable, but everything is not gonna thrive. Right, right. But you're gonna learn, and then the next year, you'll yes. do more, or whatever. So what made you choose the vegetables that you chose? I chose the things that we like. Mm -hmm. um, we love tomatoes, so mm -hmm. things that we like. And squash, Last year we did did not what's the last grandma called um, zucchini. zucchini. Last year we did zucchini mm -hmm. and we got one. <laughs> so this year we tried the squash and so far we don't have anything but a bunch right. of flowers. Right. So we basically pick things that we that we like. Like we, right. we all love the bell peppers. Right. We, the, yeah. we, all, that we stuff a them with right. everything. Mm -hmm. So we picked those. But just and then of course watermelon. Right. And we tried cantaloupe. We don't have anything yet. And we did spinach, which of course. We right. Love spinach, yeah. right, right. But I mean, I think I think it's good that your girls are involved. So how much convincing does it take to get them? Um, <laughs> you know, uh, in, 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 initially when we first started this season, uh -huh. all four of us were, you know, all you know, we were right. all in. Right. But the daily maintenance, like now, just now, Nellie has started saying, "Ma, I got, I, I, I got, I got the border." Okay. So she'll do the garden, and then Chloe will do the plant. Right. So they've worked it out. You know, when I was their age, my mom, my mom was really more so into flowers. Mm -hmm. so she had flowers just like you have flowers mm -hmm. all around. And I'll show everybody on camera, but um, she would make us participate, mm -hmm. but then she didn't really want us to do anything. So our participation would be being outside like this. And we hated it. And now I'm like all about the flowers, yep. all about the vegetables, yep. all about all of that. So I would not be surprised if one day when your daughters are older, they yes. have their own home, that yep. they get into vegetables because yes. it's something about it, whether you want to or not, you're gonna learn. Yes. Like you're gonna learn. And I, I feel like once your hands touch the dirt, you're on. Like it's like you get bit by right. a bug. Right, right, <laughs> And right. you wanna keep growing more and more and more and more. Like it just, it's the the reward yes. to me. Like yes. the vegetable that you get to eat mm -hmm. and knowing that you grew right. that, you know, whatever it is, that's the best reward. 
award. So what would you say is like advice for people who are, you know, thinking about getting in the garden, gardening, but they don't really, they don't want to take that leap. What would you say? Oh, just do it. Just, just, just do it. Just honestly, just do it. Mm -hmm. It is so much fun. I mean, even if you start small, like I did with my my left mm -hmm. side containers, you could start small mm -hmm. and then graduate up right. to the raised boxes. Right. But just start small and plant like three or four plants. Mm -hmm. You know, and then add them. But plant, plant things that you like to eat. Right. You know, and mm -hmm. then just build from there. Right. You know, start small, and once you get that, and then go up. But go just start. Through. Just start. And it doesn't take a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, you can, a couple of you can spend ten dollars at Walmart and get four plants, like a small container, you know, drill holes, because, yeah. <laughs> because drill the holes. <laughs> because drainage, right. which, we, which we've drainage. learned, it's that important. is like the theme. It is important, <laughs> you know, drill those holes, put that dirt in, and just watch it grow. Okay. Just watch it grow. Now, do you start from seeds or uh, plants? Well, our cantaloupe, our cantaloupe started from seeds. Awesome. The cantaloupe was from seeds, right? And what else did we do from seeds? The broccoli. But the broccoli, but the we had some little worm that just took over it, mm -hmm. and we couldn't get a whole grasp of it, mm -hmm. so we had to let the broccoli go. Okay. So right now, the only thing we have from seeds is the cantaloupe. Wait, 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 with the romaine. Yeah, the that romaine. Is, so yeah. the romaine. Group I've done a seeds. combination of both. Um, one year I started all everything from seeds, and I did have success, but it was too freaking stressful for me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I do seeds and some seedling okay um i'm like look judge ma it's all i grew it all i don't care if i didn't grow it from right. those first like right. six weeks um but i do like growing some things from seed but some other things like i've learned like herbs are harder to start from seed okay. so it's better to just get those as plants and you know let them thrive but i i do a combination of, of both and i think most people do now the hardcore people they like they grow from the seeds, yes. from their vegetables, yes. from the yes. <laughs> I've seen that. I'm they got like, the OGs. Yeah, that. I ain't got time. No. Every year I'm like, I'm gonna save my seeds so it can be like the seeds for next year. No, I don't no. do it. I don't do it. No. But a part of gardening season for me is the whole like going to the greenhouse yes. and getting the dirt. It's like a whole thing. Yes. So I don't actually like kind of starting it like now for next year um but i might try to save some seeds just for the heck of it okay. but that was just that it to me it was just a little bit too much work yeah. um you save money obviously right oh yeah from oh, doing yeah. that but, but yeah it's so funny we were actually walking through target mm -hmm. and natalie saw packs of seeds mm -hmm. so can i got these and i was like okay right and you see how well the right. cantaloupe is doing uh -huh. and the broccoli I, I, again it was crazy but right. The, but we just couldn't, we, the, right. we were losing the battle right. with the bugs. And we, we had plenty of the romaine lettuce before we got tired of it. So we did do well. And she started it in red solo cups mm -hmm. in the window. And I'm thinking nothing's gonna happen. Right, oh yeah. And, oh my goodness. Those little red solo cups oh, is my old goodness. school. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That works, that absolutely works. I did that as a child. We would put this up in the cup yeah. and like label it and put yeah. it in the window. Because yeah. at that small stage, it really just needs a space to grow in mm -hmm. the sun. Mm -hmm. Like that's all it needs. Cause it can't really handle the outside elements. Right, right. Um, and that is the one advantage I would say about seeds for Chicago in particular, um, because our our growing season is so short, yes. it does help to start right. seeds earlier right. and then take them outside. But when I did it, it was just too stressful. But I also don't get good sunlight in my okay. house. Okay. So I would have had to grow lights. And right, and you don't want to do all that. And so, let me start off with this. All right. Now, originally, um, this was a kennel. We okay. Had, we had a huge, we, made, we had this concrete cord okay. for the kennel because okay. the kennel was required mm -hmm. to have a, a dog. Okay. And then finally they said, you don't need a kennel anymore. And the kennel was huge. It was as tall as the garage. Wow. It was as wide as this whole space. Jeez, that was so a big was kennel. A that was kennel. a house. <laughs> exactly. And I've never believed in leaving my dog outside. Okay. So when they told me I can get rid of it, I got rid of it. We just broke it down and got rid of it. So now it's like this empty space with nothing. Mm -hmm. An empty space with the crew and just leaves and stuff. Right. So then I said, what are we going to do with this? Mm -hmm. And I 
started this. We started gardening. And, 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 and how long has that been? This has been, it's like our second or third year. Third. Maybe third year. Okay. Yeah, third, our third year. Third year, okay. We've been, we've been doing this. Okay. And it has just evolved. Now, oh look! I, I see. We can't. We cannot always gotta show love to Mr. B. Now he's pollinating now. Yeah. So, and now, uh, Chloe, Chloe, I'll tell you what that means. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Let's start off from the back. Oh, from we'll the back, and then we'll work our way up. Okay. okay. So this is what I started with, and I haven't gotten rid of this yet. Okay. I did containers. Okay. Okay. And what I did wrong was clearly I Drainage. didn't put any holes in them. Yep. So yep. I lost that first season. I lost everything mm -hmm. because I had no holes in it. Right. And actually, so funny, if you watch the video that I did today with Crystal, she literally shows how to do containers. Because yes. you can do it in containers. Yes. But that's what I actually messed up because I, I had holes but not enough drainage. Yes. So that is a result of not having enough. And the only reason why they're still here is because too my heavy. Husband, yeah, yeah, yeah so, it's like but, a whole thing. But but I bought more contain more of these. They're in the house. Okay. Because as I was planting this year, I mm -hmm. said I need more of those. Right. So I bought them. These but planter boxes. Too, yeah, it was too late for me to put them up because right. we'd already planted stuff. Right. Okay. So this was my first little um, greenhouse, if you will, from Wayfair. <laughs> I bought it for like fifty dollars. Uh huh. Okay. And it was decked out and laid out the uh -huh. first season. And then that Chicago weather hit. Oh yeah, that as wind. You can imagine, yeah, as you yeah. Can imagine, it completely tore it up. Wow. So now I'm in the process of deciding: Do I want a shed, a greenhouse, or or, or a she shed? A she yeah. shed or a greenhouse? Okay. And I haven't decided. In yet. this spot. In this spot. Okay. In this spot. Okay. So um, I'm going. To That's one of the reasons I haven't done a greenhouse because of the wind. Yeah. I'm like, if I lose my babies, I'm but, be too salty. I, I've seen some with this much snow on top. Mm -hmm. That lets me know that it could withstand the Chicago winter. Mm -hmm. So I don't know which one I'm gonna get okay. yet, but something's gonna go in here next year. Okay. The, 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 what I started with before I got the boxes, I started with this, and okay. again I learned that I didn't have enough drainage. Right. So even after we put holes in it, mm -hmm. they just want nothing in here grows. Yeah. So that right. is. That is um, so squash or something like squash, squash zucchini. and cucumbers. Yeah, cucumbers. But nothing seems to grow in these containers. Okay. My daughter, my wonderful daughter, <laughs> in the midst of us planting vegetables, mm -hmm. she threw her yeah uh, lavender uh, lavender yeah. yeah so that's why that's thriving though yeah, yeah. That's thri thriving but nothing else is mm -hmm. and i forget what we had here chloe looks like strawberries we, but that was from last year but what else uh, did we have here this we year had cauliflower yeah and and oh and the the, there was there is some bug that ate up my cauliflower so okay. i had to get rid of that okay so that strawberry was in there because we had strawberries in there strawberries before. always come back yeah, yeah they come back every so year so next year at the end of this season these are just garbage garbage yeah I'm, I'm tossing them out and again i bought a couple of these up and they're, they're in the house and we'll just have two rows right which to me will make it so much better mm -hmm. now this year tomatoes tomatoes they look great right yeah but unfortunately i planted them all because the, in the sticks there's one two three four i've got four different kinds of tomatoes going in here okay but i didn't space them far enough away mm -hmm. and my mom told me a long time ago she says tomatoes will take over your garden they will them and cucumbers so, exactly mm -hmm. so i should have given them more space you can still do you can still give them more space so i don't want to like turn this into a tutorial but you can start pruning this Okay. Do you prune? I, I do prune. Because okay. It's been worse than it was. It was way worse. Way than bigger. So I, I do. I do prune. I do okay. Prune, but I said this is one of those things that next year. Next year. You know, I'll put my grape and my cherry right. tomato in one, my beef steak and my other kind in a different one. You can. I think they can still. I. I personally feel like. I can you can them. get three in here. How many is in here now? Four. 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 I see three because. I would do here, there, and then one further over. Okay. Maybe not four, depending on the type. Yes. Yes. But it's just, it's just taking over. Yeah, but you still have growth. Yeah. I mean, you still have growth because I I'm growing tomatoes in a container, and like I got two tomatoes literally. That's because I didn't drain them right. Okay. But okay. you still got good growth though. And we just we Natalie just picked them. 
And I was like, you should wait till the pickle lady came. And she just picked a whole bunch of them that were red. That were red. Uh -huh. she, did, she picked those about an hour ago. Okay. So these are my tomatoes, which again, I put this because they were leaning too far in just to be able to hold them back some. But again, yeah, you always got to um, trellis yeah. them. Yes. Yes. I yes. mean, I put the cage on. That was the one thing I was on my friend about. Because when you first get them, they're so little. And right. you're like, why am I putting this big right. cage? I'm like, girl, that thing can get exactly. five, six feet. Before you know it, it will get that tall. Yeah. But we've given some to our neighbors. I've taken some to work. And yeah, that's a good one. You can fry that, baby. Yes. 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 Yeah, you yes. can fry that one. So, these are our jalapenos. Now, before, I had a whole bunch of lettuce right here. Yeah. And the lettuce took over and it was just really? too much. And I, I was eating lettuce sandwiches. It was too much. I was sending lettuce to my parents' house, every sandwich. Okay, every let me ask this. On. The sun is not really out today. Does this cast shadows? No. The sun comes from this way. Okay. So it comes over and there are hours, several okay. hours where I get full sun right here. Okay. Because it comes from this way, which okay. is the east. Okay. And then it comes right over. Okay. So like I said, for hours I get yeah. straight sun. Yeah. So Your jalapenos. I had Thrive. lettuce all here. Okay. And it was just it was too it was too much. And I planted like three or four uh plants plants of it mm -hmm. and it was too much. So after we had become bunny rabbits, <laughs> it's like always so much right. lettuce, right? Exactly. I mean, lettuce sandwiches, everything. Right. I just pulled it up and said, like, we're done with lettuce, we're done. So, and plus, lettuce only gonna last so long anyway. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So this is my jalapeno, and this is after I've harvested about four or five times. Yeah, you tell me it's going four, crazy. So I did one, two, three. All of mine with, look with like your, this. With your name on it. Uh -uh, take them ever you want because I've still I'm still got some in the house. Some. Please do, please do. And I'm going to pickle them too. So, here we go. In my stories today. Okay. Now, I know what a tomato hornworm is. Yeah. A horn or hook. Horn? Tomato hornworm. Tomato horn 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 worm is. Yeah. And I, I come out here two, three times, maybe four times a day to mm -hmm. check on everything. Yeah, check your leaves. This morning I come out at about six o'clock and there's a hornworm on my smallest plant. But you can tell, wow. someone, yes. someone's been bothering been it. Yes, been eating it. Yes, yes. Yep. So I got it off and I killed it. So we came out here about an hour ago and there was another one. Yeah, they multiply so, so freaking fast. What I learned mm -hmm. is I went in and I watched a YouTube video. Mm -hmm. And the man says that when the when the what, what learn whatever lays them, lays an egg and what it looked like, I just so happened to flick off four of the little things the that that I so I said, I'm now I know that I know what that looks like. I'm gonna get some mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. I have to be diligent. Right. And coming out here because I flicked the the, the babies or whatever mm -hmm. off. Look, what many black things? Yeah. I flicked them off, but they're gonna come back. They're gonna grow. Right. And I see you have neem oil here, right? Yes. Yeah. I do. So I you do. can, you know, you can neem oil is like a daily thing. Girl, I didn't know that. Oh. I didn't yeah. know that. So when we saw the creature, <laughs> you, we started spraying them, but I didn't know yeah. that. But otherwise, my peppers are growing really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, that's what I'm talking about. Those two little black things in there. You see that? Oh, yeah. That's, zoom that's, in. well, I knocked one of them off. But that right there, that little black thing. Oh, yeah, I see If it. you can see it. I see it. Mm. Okay. I don't, oh, I see it. You see it? Down that's down like the little here. baby. That shows me that uh, a hookworm is coming. Yep, ain't that something? Oh, yep, yeah. that's what a hookworm is at. Let me look Idiot. at the bottom of yeah. it. Yep, Idiot. it's been eating. Yep, so yep. that's what means that they're coming, so I have to. Yeah, neem oil daily. And honestly, the thing about that. neem oil that, I, that I've that i learned in, that about it is it's not just treatment, it's also preventative okay. too. Okay, but other than that, I have, I've harvested some peppers already. And look, are made... they gonna turn? Oh, some of them are gonna turn. So yeah, you got red too. This one would have, I think, because these are yeah, all they supposed turn to be green red. First. Yeah, but they're growing good. I just have to. I'm gonna get some more neem oil tomorrow morning. Yeah, and that's the thing too. Like, you know, I'm obsessive about you know talking to my garden, but a part of it is just looking at the leaves and you look underneath. Yes, and you yes. have to check everything to see. Like, like this lets me right. know that tells you something. Yeah, yeah, that something's been eaten on it. Yep. Now. Over here, now let me tell you why I did crates. I watched a YouTube video. Okay. And this man was like, basically, you can grow 
fruits and vegetables in anything. Mm -hmm. And he did this. Mm -hmm. So I came out and I did it. Mm -hmm. But what did I do wrong? Okay. I used the bags, garbage bags, and my husband told me not to, but me, I did it anyway. <laughs> and the bags were too small. Oh, right. And they start to split. It's tear, yeah. But, but they are growing, and we have harvested some. Yeah, and strawberries will come back, yeah. so. They have harvested, yeah. we have harvested. But something, again, something is bothering. Something is yeah, something is eating on them. You can tell, something is eating on them. Um, right here. Is this cucumber? This is actually cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, okay. Cantaloupe. And oh, we've right. got a yes, ton of leaves, but we don't see anything happening. Well, we got some babies. Where? I'm just saying, like the flowers. Oh, yeah, yeah. They tell us that a lot, a lot of well, those. Look like a baby, really? right here, like right there. Oh wow! So maybe this is one of those. Now again, cantaloupe take a long, a long time. A, a mistake that I made. This should have been in a container, right. in, in, a, in, a, in a raised bed. Uh huh. This is dumb. Right. That was a mistake that I made. I shouldn't have done that. Right. And here we go. This was um, uh, uh, no, 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 no. This was a uh, romaine. Yes, yeah, but bolted. we got tired of romaine. Right. We got tired of it. So it's just I don't even water it. Okay. It's there. We ate enough romaine. <laughs> We're done. We it's done. It. Anyway, it can die. Bolting. It can die. We don't want no more of that. We're done with that. Okay. My next mistake. My next mistake. Watermelon. That didn't come down yet. But you Watermelon. got them though. I got them, but. Again, it should have been like I did it last year in a raised bed. So it can do exactly. Do the, uh, so vines. now they're growing, but how long? How big? They, they can't. They, they can't just grow like this mm -mm. because they're gonna break. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to find ways to help them stay up. Mm -hmm. And the bigger they get, I'm gonna have to find something like a pantyhose. Right. Yeah, that a lot of people use holes. Yes, like pantyhose. Pantyhose because I've got them here. You got. Let me see. Girl, I've got them all on the back side. Four, five. It's yeah. about 12 of them. Oh, yeah, because I just, oh, yeah. I got one, one yeah. down here. Now, let me ask you, do you fertilize? Yes. Now, here we You're go. You're super creative with this baby right Girl, here. Girl, I know. <laughs> but, but this, I love it, though. This, but, and there's holes in there, too. But this thing takes so much water. And this is how it looks. This is how it ends up looking. That was spinach. But we had a great crop of spinach back there, mm -hmm. and then it just like died on us. So, but, but now, I but I now, love how you trellised it. Like no, here. no, no, I didn't do that, baby. It, it did. That. Yeah, of course, I'm just right, saying, right, like, right. was that by design? Like, let no, me put it here. Oh, they did that themselves. Yeah, they, they always climb. That. They'll climb on anything they can climb yes. on. Yeah. So this is um, our, our. This is the last thing we planted. It was a last minute. Okay. And they were pickles for cucumbers made for pickles. You have there. Our biggest one is down here. Yeah, that's probably about as big as they're going to yep. get. And then I got, still got, you see how my watermelon is growing back mm -hmm. there? Look, look down there, look at that one. Yeah. So actually tomorrow, when I go get my name, I'm going to go and get holes because they're getting too big. And after it rains, it just gets ridiculous. Okay, yeah, that's my biggest one right there. But you know what's so funny? Despite all of your mistakes, it's still growing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, this is something that a friend of mine told okay. me about. And Organic I nipple. use it mm -hmm. every two weeks. Oh, I bet it smells horrible. It Got does. That it does. But life. let me tell you something. When I started using this, it took off. Really? They took off. And I do, I put um, two tablespoons into a gallon of water. Okay. And then I, you know, however many gallons I need to do everything. Okay. And it's taken off. All right, so I'm here with Sheila's daughters. What do you call them? The gladiators, the gladiators. right? G1 the, and G2. G1 and G2. And I just want to know, what do you guys like about gardening? Well, I like that it's like you can see an experience and you don't have, well, you know everything is going to be, you know, fresh because it's from your garden. Mm -hmm. And you know everything won't be something you don't know about it. Right. And that's what I like about gardening. And I like going out every day, seeing all the little creatures <laughs> that go on our garden. <laughs> and I like um, when I get to pick the tomatoes. Cool. What about you? I, I like, what I like about gardening is I like, I think I like when how they grow. So it's cool to watch them grow. Now they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And 
because I, I mostly like strawberries. Strawberries. I like how they go too. And I like picking out those fruits. Right. Isn't it cool where, you know, like say you'll go out there three days and it'll be so little. I know. And then like the next day it's huge. You're like, I did not see that yesterday. Isn't it crazy how yeah. it really grows that fast? Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that anything special that makes it seem like it grows a little more? Anything? Maybe the sunlight and rain. Rain. Yes. Yes. So I always tell people after rain, there will always be massive growth in your garden. So do you think that you guys will have your own gardens? Well, when you have your own house and you out of your mama's. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, Count it down. <laughs> she marking the days off the calendar. Right, but do you think you would be, you know, you would have your own garden? Yes. Maybe. Nice <laughs> Why well, maybe? Is a lot of work? I'm not very good at gardening. I'm going to come out three times a week just looking at a bird. Okay. Fair. Yeah, I would. I would rather be in here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Anything you want to tell other people like your age about gardening? If they might be thinking about getting into it or if they do it with their moms or people that they love? Definitely be prepared because you will have to go out a lot of times. You will have to garden. You will have to check it early morning. Watch out for bugs because they will eat. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I would say that it's very important that you also keep a check and you also keep an eye on it because there are bugs that will eat your whole plant in one day. <laughs> and Literally. Then you'll be left with no plants, and you have to make sure you water them and. Make sure they get enough sunlight, make sure they get all the things that plants usually need, just so they can become fruits and vegetables that you like to eat. Maybe you make sure you prune it, like cut out the, the leaves, mm -hmm. like the stems that don't have um, stuff on them, like tomatoes. Make sure you cut those so it doesn't bother the new plants that are coming. It's, it's very, it's a light green. A, like a caterpillar yeah, like a caterpillar <laughs> that grows into a moth, mm -hmm. and it it literally eats everything, and it likes tomatoes, of course, <laughs> and it likes jalapenos and peppers. others, yeah, peppers, and they're very good. They like camouflage. Yeah, they, they like do. Green. They build. They they camouflage a lot. I'm actually gonna put a picture of them in this video while you all are talking about it so people can see what it looks like because it, it like really it. blends yes. in a lot. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. Yes. Yeah. I, we sure. almost walked past it. Right, like the, the, I found the one this morning and you found the one this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I, found we were walking afternoon. past the plant and never noticed it, but then I took a nice look at it and I saw a, something like green. Mm -hmm. It had little feet, so I knew right. it was blue. Right, if you if you check like under the leaves too, because they will go under the leaves, they will munch. Uh -huh, they will yeah. get your peppers. Yeah. You have to make sure because they even if you pick one off, an hour later you will come back and you will see, see another one. Yeah. yeah. They have like little droppings, I believe. Yeah. yeah. And those are like the little babies. They're going to yeah the seeds. Yeah. 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 They're going to become. Yeah, and the one. bigger actually, the bigger they are, that means the longer they've been eating. <laughs> So you, you, yours were kind of small. So that means you probably literally just caught them. All right, thank you all so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much to Sheila and the Gladiators for teaching us all about the bugs in your garden and how to treat and prevent them. If you enjoyed this interview, make sure you comment down below what you learned as well as making sure you like and share it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get the videos as soon as I drop them. You know I have more gardening videos as well as some recipes coming your way. Have a good one y'all. Bye. Thank you.